Hi, this week we're going to be upgrading this IPO Classic 5.5 30GB to 128GB. We're going to be doing this with an iFlash solo adapter and we're going to be using a Sandis Ultra micro SD card. There will be links in the description for those. If you want to see what happens when you cheap out, check out the link in the description for the video where I try to use this adapter here and it doesn't work. So the first step we're going to do is open up the iPod. So you're going to need this tool, you're going to need one of these tools here. Yep, and now once the iPod's off, we are going to grab our tool and we are going to try and get it in here. Oops, sorry, so we're going to try and get in here. So the trick with this tool is you have to push it in like that. And then when you get it in, you want to give it, you want to pull up do it in two places and you just need to get it on one side and the rest of the iPod will open like that. So now we want to make sure we open the iPod and then we are going to need to disconnect this adapter here for the battery and we can flip it over. So now we want to grab out this disk drive so we just pull it up like that and disconnect this zip adapter so we'll pull that out there next we're going to grab our iFlash solar adapter so we'll pull this out of its package here yep and with your sd card here you want to make sure you format it so let's go off to the computer now and we'll do that i'm using paragon for this but you can use whatever you like so first we're going to update our mbr Hit update now. Wait for this to finish. And now we're going to delete our XFAT partition. Hit delete now. Hit yes, I'm sure. Next, and wait for this to finish. Yep, now that's done, we're gonna create a new partition. Paragon annoyingly makes NTFS at first, but we're just gonna have to deal with that for now. So we, we need to name our partition. Let's name it the iPod. And now let's start that process. Yep, now that's done, we're gonna to need to format our partition and let's turn this into FAT32. Yep, and we need to name our partition again. So let's just call it the iPod again. Hit start, hit yes, I'm sure I wanna format. Next, let's wait for it to finish. Yep, now that our card's formatted, we just want to grab our and insert it into our iFlash adapter like that. And then we want to reattach our iFlash adapter. So zips can be quite difficult, so this may take some time. Yep, now that that's in, we're gonna to need to install our foam pads, these here. So we just grab one of those and place it on top of the SD card slot like that. And now we can just reconnect our battery and headphone jack port. You may not have needed to disconnect these, but I did to get my ZIF connector in. So we want to make sure that Yep, and now we want to connect our battery, which is pretty simple. Now 
Now let's test it, but before you don't close it until you make sure it works. Yep, and now it's come up. Click OK. Hit the iPod button. And then you want to hit restore iPod. Restore. Next. Agree. And it'll just do that now. Yep, and now it's complete, it's going to restart. Should be able to see. That it's restarting now. Yep, and we can disconnect it from the computer. And now let's just set it up and make sure it works. On English. Yep, and now we can go into our settings menu. And let's go about and we'll check our storage. And we got 120 gigs there. So now that, that we can confirm that's working, you can click it closed. So you just want to pull out your cord. And then click the it closed like that. Yep, and that's done. And now let's plug it into iTunes and just make sure it works on there. Yep, and now let's just hit continue. Get started, and we've got 120 gigs. Yep, and that's it for the process. If you like this video or helped you, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. But until next time, thanks for watching.